great phenomena of nature, the revolutions of the heavenly bodies, eclipses, comets, thunder and lightning, and other extraordinary meteors, the generation, the life, growth and dissolution of plants and animals, are objects which, as they necessarily excite the wonder, so they naturally call forth the curiosity of mankind to inquire into their causes. Superstition first attempted to satisfy this curiosity by referring all those wonderful appearances to the immediate agency of the gods. Philosophy afterwards endeavored to account for them from more familiar causes or from such as mankind were better acquainted with than the agency of the gods. As those great phenomena are the first objects of human curiosity, so the science which pretends to explain them must naturally have been the first branch of philosophy that was cultivated. The first philosophers accordingly of whom history has preserved any account appear to have been natural philosophers. All my moral and intellectual being is penetrated by an invincible conviction that whatever falls under the dominion of our senses must be in nature and, however exceptional, cannot differ in its essence from all the other effects of the visible and tangible world of which we are a self-conscious part. The world of the living contains enough marvels and mysteries as it is, marvels and mysteries acting upon our emotions and intelligence in ways so inexplicable that it would almost justify the conception of life as an enchanted state. No, I am too firm in my consciousness of the marvelous to be ever fascinated by the mere supernatural which, take it any way you like, is but a manufactured article. The fabrication of minds insensitive to the intimate delicacies of our relation to the dead and to the living in their countless multitudes. The desecration of our tenderest memories. An outrage on our dignity. Look not above, there is no answer there. Pray not, for no one listens to your prayer. Near is as near to God as any far, and here is just the same deceit as there. And do you think that unto such as you, a maggot-minded, starved, fanatic crew, God gave the secret and denied it to me? Well, well, what matters it? Believe that too.